In this video we're going to look at the distributive property with higher powers of x like x cubed next to the power of 4 and so on. So we'll do these uh, six examples, these on page 1, page 2 and page 3. So we'll start with page 1. If you had x squared times x to the power of 3 minus 2, um, what would you do with that? Can you do that one? So like, feel free to uh, race me and get the right answer and just check check the video to make sure you're doing it right. But um, I'll just walk through it if you're not sure. Uh, same procedure. You take this, uh, the x squared here, and you multiply it by both terms on the inside, right? Now, x squared times x cubed, and I'll just write, you don't have to write all this out, but I'm going to write it out just so we can see it clearly. So it'll be x squared, you know, times x cubed, and then minus. Uh, you know, you got or x squared times two, or or, or mm, I don't know which way you want to do this, but but in any case, it, it's minus x squared times two, or you know, negative two times x squared. But but anyway, wh which is, I mean, if you just look at this term, like, what's the point in even writing that out? Sorry about that. That that's obviously just two x squared, isn't it? Because just negative two times this. But this term, I'm just trying to show that. You know, the x squared, there's two x's there, x times x, and then with x cubed, you've got one, two, three of them. So that's two of them times three of them, that's five altogether. So that makes x to the power of five. And of course, if, you know, the, the property is, when we multiply by the same base, we add the exponents, and two plus three is five. But just to make sure, I, I really want you all to visualize two x's times three x's making five x's being multiplied. So instead of having to remember the rules like a to the power of m times a to the power of n happens to be adding them, instead of actually having to remember that, if you visualize what's going on in your mind or or, or do you write it down real quick, you'll say, oh okay, there's two x's times three x's, that's five. You know what I'm saying? So similarly with this one, can you press pause and do this one yourself? Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So you've got x cubed times this thing. So x cubed times x to the power of 5, right? Plus x cubed times 4. And you don't have to write this line out if you don't want to, but I just want to uh, write out to make it clear that here we have x cubed, which is 1, 2, 3 x's, being multiplied by x to the power of 5, right? Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. So you have 3 x's multiplied by 5 x's, which is the same as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 x's being multiplied, right? Or x to the power of 8, right? So I hope this is clear that this is in fact x to the power of 8. And you don't really need the product property, of course, there's no harm remembering that, but but I really want you to understand what's going on, you know. I mean, because because you, I want you to be able to explain why you don't just multiply three times five to get x to the power of fifteen. I want you to understand why x to the power of fifteen is wrong, and why x to the power of eight is correct. That's the trick, right? Because then there'll be less mistakes and less confusion. But anyway, x to the power of three times four makes four x cubed, doesn't it? So we have x to the power of eight plus four x cubed. So now all we have to do is have a look at some variation with uh, different coefficients and negative numbers and things like that. So, you know, similar, same procedure, negative 3x to the power of 4 times 2x cubed minus 5. Can you press pause and try that yourself? Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So we multiply this guy in here, and you multiply the coefficients first. What's negative 3? times 2. It's negative 6, isn't it? And x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3. That's 4 x's. Uh, where will I put that? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 x's. And then x cubed, that's 3 x's. 1, 2, 3. So if you take 4 of them, multiply it by 3 of them, you'll have 7 altogether being multiplied, right? So you can think, well, that's negative 6 times x to the power of 7, right? And then, what's the next uh, term in this expression? Negative 3 times negative 5. That's a negative times a negative. What does that make? Negative times negative, positive, right? And 3 times 5, of course, is 15. And, of course, it's 15x to the power of 4, right? 
15x to the power of 4s. So I hope that made sense. Please press pause and try this one yourself. Okay, I hope you try that. I'm going to do it now. So you simply need to take the negative 2x cubed and multiply it by both factors inside here. Negative 2x cubed times 4 is negative 8x cubed and negative 2x cubed times negative x, 7x squared is a negative times a negative. Did you get the sign correct? Shouldn't that be positive, right? Positive and 2 times 7, 14. So negative 2 times negative 7, positive 14 and x cubed times x squared that's, you know, 1, 2, 3 x's multiplied by 1, 2 x's. 3 x's times 2 x's is 5 of them. x to the power of 5, right? Now, page 3, similar situation, only we have three terms inside the parentheses this time. So negative 4n times 6n squared minus 3n minus 1. Press pause and have a go at it. See what you think you do with this. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So you simply take the it's the same procedure, it's just the distributive property, but you just multiply it by each term on the inside, right? Now negative 4n times 6n squared is what? Negative 4 times positive 6 is a negative 24, right? And an n times an n squared is an n cubed, isn't it? And what, what are the other two terms? Press pause and finish that if you haven't got it yet. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So you got negative 4n times negative 3n. That's a negative times a negative makes a positive. And 4 times 3, 12. And n times n, n squared. Now a negative 4n times a negative 1. Negative times negative positive 4n. Right? So press pause and do this one all by yourself, and then I'll do it. That's a negative 5a times 4a cubed minus a minus 9. So I hope you tried it yourself. I'm going to do it now. Multiply the negative 5a times everything. Okay. Ne so negative 5a times 4a cubed gives you what? Negative times positive is what? Negative, right? Now well, negative 5 times positive 4 is a negative 20. a times a cubed is what? Now that's 1a here and how many a's here? a cubed 1, 2, 3a. So that's an a. 1a times 3a's, that's 4a's. a to the power of 4, right? Then we have negative 5a times negative a. What's that? Negative times negative. What's the sign? Negative times negative is positive 5a squared, isn't it? And what's negative 5a times negative 9? Is that a positive 45a, right?